reporting for Infowars.com. We are here at the 11th Congressional District Labor Day Parade. And Hillary also happens to be holding a speaking event here. Looks like in a bid to try and get more people to actually attend her rally just by coincidence being at the same place at the same time. This is exactly showing the fact that she really does not have that much support. This compared to the thousands and thousands of Trump supporters that show up to his rallies, we have a very, very small turnout for Hillary Clinton right here. As you can see, there's a lot of other people here out at this event who are actually not participating in Hillary's rally, and they didn't come here for her rally. We're gonna go ask some people if they are actually even here for the Hillary speech or if they're just here for the Labor Day Parade. So what brings you out today? Um, the Battle of the Bands, uh, the Shaw Cardinals versus Lawrenceville, the parade. What brings you ladies out today? Um, <laughs> I don't know, the festival. What about you, what brings you out here today? Um, I just wanted to be with my family. My sisters was marching a parade, so we decided to come out. What about you? My daughter was cheerleading. <laughs> oh, how nice. Hi. The parade, that's it. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Fine, I'm doing fine. Um, so what do you think about this parade here today? Uh, it was nice. It was a little long, but it was nice. Are you here for the Hillary speech? No, nah, but if she comes on while I'm here, I will watch her. What brings you out here today? Beautiful day outside. Are you coming here for the parade or the Hillary speech? Everything. Oh, this is a parade, what's going on in the community, see what's going on, you know. Well, I really came out here to see my girl Hillary. That's what I'm voting for this uh, semester, so just came out here to show my support, you know, and be, in the, be around the festivities. So what do you think about Quinnell X, the Black Panther Party leader, recently endorsing Donald Trump. I mean, I mean that's his decision. You know, Donald Donald Trump, he made some good. He said some few things that kind of caught my attention, but he also said some things that, that kind of turned me off from him. But I mean, if that's his choice on what he's saying, on, as far as voting for him or being on the side, that's his choice. I really don't got nothing against him. What do you think about P. Diddy recently unendorsing Hillary? Miss Clinton, you know, Hillary Clinton, um, I, I hope she starts to directly talk to the black community. Our issues are not addressed, but I think we need to hold our vote because I don't believe any of them. Wow, I didn't know that. But as far as, far as him doing that, then, uh, hey, that's, oh man, I didn't know that. <laughs> that kind of thing. What, what do you think about some of the racist statements that Hillary's made in the past? She got a lot of answers. She got, she got to answer a lot of questions. So hopefully she, she do well and address the people on giving them what they want to hear and make things right, you know? What do you think about her referring to young black men as super predators? For her to say that about uh, young black men, it's kind of it's kind of terrible due to the fact I fit that category, but I'm trying to make a life change. So, you know, like I say, she got a lot of things to, she got some questions to answer. What do you think about Hillary? She's a woman and it's time for a woman president. Isn't Donald Trump and, um, David Dukes, aren't they not friends? No, actually, if anybody has a tie and a direct relationship with a KKK member, it's um, Hillary Clinton. It is Senator Byrd. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Because, you know, when campaigning, they tell you what they think you might want to hear. So you really don't know the history of neither one of them, really. What do you like about Hillary? I like what she stands for. I mean, she stands for the unions, she stands for working families, stands for the middle class. What do you think about the Clinton Foundation telling people to donate the money for Haiti's disaster directly to them and that they would give it to Haiti and that when it actually came to it they gave a very tiny percentage and kept most of it for themselves? Well I don't know anything about that but if that's true then I have to sit and look at it. I have a long time before I actually render my vote. Would you say this is a pretty typical usual turnout for these type of events in, this year? No, actually I think the turnouts 
let's say, the turnout for the people in the community is lower to me this year than it was in previous years. There will be more people from the community. Like if he could pan and look, over here there would be battles of the bands behind us. Shaw and Warrensville Heights bands will be battling against each other. And there'd be a crowd around here mingling in. And uh, I just think the big security presence kept a lot of them away. So you think the TSA and the whole Hillary event kind of might have led to less people coming? Less people out of community, yeah. We even got into a Twitter war with the president of Mexico. And then he delivered his I love Hillary. Vote for Trump. About a year and a half ago, Anthony Gucciardi just said, man, I just did a Dr. Grip's liver cleanse, the one he recommends, and he's developing this proprietary stuff he's testing on himself right now. You really ought to do it. The results are dramatic after six days. And I'm like, no way, no way I'm doing it. I don't believe that there's giant black or green balls in my gallbladder. And this is how ignorant I am. And he's like, look at it online. I'm not looking at it online. Stuff like that grosses me out. I don't want to go there. Well, finally, about six months ago, they convinced me to do it. I personally think everybody should go through a liver cleansing if you haven't done one. Results speak for themselves. I mean, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people have done this, and, and it dates back even a thousand years drinking oils to cleanse and purge the liver. Actually, the Greeks and the over in India with Ayurvedic medicine have done it the same way. But how it works is what you should do, and this is what our proprietary research led us to do back starting in the early uh, 90s when we were looking at the best ways to cleanse the liver, was to develop an herbal formula that contains herbs that will help soften or break down these glycogen or these stones in the liver and the gallbladder. This liver shield is the high quality proprietary liver trex developed by Dr. Group that we've private labeled through him. And it's extremely strong, extremely concentrated, extremely high powered. You combine that with the oxy powder, oxygen based intestinal cleanser, dietary supplement, clinically tested. We have them discounted at the lowest price you're gonna find anywhere. Infowarslife.com. Obviously folks should probably talk to their healthcare provider before they do this. This is one of the single biggest results, if not the biggest I've ever seen in my life literally in a six-day period this is something anybody can do obviously the literature is well known on what liver cleanses do this is the best one out there from our research infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139